Hello, I am Krishna Raghavendran and in this tutorial of MIT App Inventor, we are going to see how to use the image picker component using MIT App Inventor. So using this component, you can upload any images which is present in the mobile and you can upload it to your app and you can store it in your app. So let me show you what I mean. So this is a small example of a profile picture which you can upload to the app from your mobile storage. So you just need to click on upload profile picture button over here and then choose the picture which you want. I'm going to choose my picture and then as you can see this is the profile picture and you'll also be able to see the name below over here. Now even if I close this app and open the app again you can see that the data is not gone because we are saving the image in tinyDB. So when you save the image in tinyDB the data will not go. So it can be text or it can be an image. If you are new to my channel, my channel is all about creating your own mobile apps free and easily using a tool called MIT App Inventor which is block based coding and easy. So if you want to create fantastic mobile apps, start now by clicking the red subscribe button and the bell icon. So as I told you before, we are going to create an app which will show a profile image and also it will show the name of the user. So for that first I'm going to bring in an image in which we will show the profile picture and over here what we are going to do is we are going to bring this image to be at the center of screen 1. So in the properties of screen 1 change align horizontal and align vertical to be center like this. Make sure both are center. Now you can see that this image 1 came to the center of the screen. Next we are going to adjust the height and width. So this is your choice. But I'm going to use 300 into 300. So I'll put 300 pixels at the highest and the width to be again 300 pixels like this. Next we are going to bring in a label to show the name of the user. So here what I'm going to do is I'll change the font size to be 30 and I'm going to make the font to be bold like this. So this time I'm going to put the name of the user to be my name. But if you have stored it in TinyDB or CloudDB, you can get the data and show it in this table. So to learn about, to learn more about CloudDB, watch the chat app video which I have made earlier. Link in the description. Now I'm going to change the text of this to be Krishna Raghavendran, which is my name. Next, we are going to use a, a button. So instead of a button, make sure you go to media and you bring in an image picker like this. So an image picker is similar to a button where the user will click as you can see it looks like a button but when the user clicks on the button it will open a pop-up dialog asking for which image from the photos app they need to choose and they can choose the image and they'll be able to put it as I showed you in the demo at the beginning of this video. So I'm going to change the text of this to be upload profile picture. I'm going to make the font to be bold like this. Next, we are also going to use the tinyDB component as a database for this app. So let me go to storage and I'm going to bring in tinyDB. So we are, we are going to use tinyDB to store the image. So whenever the user closes and opens the app, the image will not be gone. So the image will be visible in the app for a longer period of time. So for that we are going to use tinyDB which will store the image locally in the mobile and it will show it in the app. Now let's go to the block section. So first we are going to go to the image picker and as you can see there's a block called when image picker one dot after picking. This means that after the user has picked the image which the user needs to upload and set as the profile picture we need to put what the user needs to do or what the code needs to do over here inside this block. So what I'm going to do is first I'll set the image one dot picture to I'll bring in this block like this. I'm going to delete this one and we will set the image one dot picture to we will get the image pickers selection image. So if you scroll down, you'll be able to see in image picker image picker dot selection. This means that the image which the user has selected will be stored over here in Im it will be visible in image one dot picture so that we can see the image in image one whatever the user has selected so image one is this image which is 300 into 300 pixels like this next what also we need to do is we also need to store it in tiny db so when we store it in tiny db even if you close and open the app even if you restart or shut down the mobile the data will not go 
so for that let's bring in this block so this is to save the image in the app so the tag is going to be you can put any tag name you want i'm going to put the tag name to be profile pic and the value to store will be image picker one dot selection because we need to store the image in tiny db so let me just duplicate this and put it over here next what we will do is whenever the screen one is initializing which means that the app is loading or the app is starting we need to get the value again from tiny db and we need to show it in the image so after they close and open the app we will get it from tiny db and we will show it in the image so to do that let's go to image 1 and over here we are going to bring in this block set image 1 dot picture to i'll delete this one and the picture is going to be we will go to tiny db and we are going to bring in this get value block over here i'm going to put the tag of this to be profile picture so make sure you put the same tag or else it will not work so i'll put profile pic and here over here value if tag not there what you can do is i'm just going to put an empty string but you can do like you can show another image of a user in image one if the user didn't pick any value so here you can see the app i'm going to as you can see there's no profile picture right now i will upload i'll click on the upload button and using the image picker i'll upload the image so click on upload profile pic and i'll go to the download folder over here as you can see there's a photo so you can choose any photo and now you can see that it is available as a profile image now i'm going to close this app and open it again now even if i close and open the image is not gone because we are storing it in tiny db even if you switch off the mobile and restart the mobile this image will not be gone because we are storing it in tiny db next you need to learn more about tiny db and how you can store text now we have stored images in this video how you can store text so watch this forms app video where i tell you how to use tiny db and store some text and even if you close and open the app the text will not be gone so you can store anything in tiny db next you also need to learn about cloud db where you can store data in the internet and transfer it to other mobiles so i have created a chat app video tutorial on how to do this using cloud db so make sure to watch that video as you can see we are using cloud db so for more tutorials like this make sure to like share and subscribe and click the notification bell icon so to create the chat app which i told you earlier watch this video and also watch my full course of mit app inventor over here to create more fantastic apps